Hi, I'm Deanna Wyman, owner of Bayside Real Estate in Alameda, California. Alameda is a small island town about 20 minutes from San Francisco. I'm here with my friend Grace McHugh today. She's the owner of Grace Interiors and is a stager in Alameda, California. Hello, happy to be with you today. Welcome to Tweak It to Sell It, tips for staging your home. Today we're going to talk about how to make a well-dressed bed. Although we have more beautiful linens, bed coverings, and accessories than ever before on the market, making a bed has become a lost art. The hotel industry has known for years the importance of a luxurious bed. One of the high points of staying at a five-star hotel is the luxurious bed with crisp sheets, uh, beautiful, gorgeous bed coverings. That's what we're striving for today. The bed definitely has a high impact on potential buyers. First of all, the bed takes center stage in the bedroom, so you want the foot of the bed to be the first thing you see when you enter the room. Try not to put it off to the side or in front of a window, because when you walk in the room, you want the bed to present itself nicely. Choosing the pieces for a well-dressed bed can be complicated at best. Untucked sheets because they're too short, sloppy covers, comforters that don't cover the side. These are all things that all of us deal with when we're making a bed. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? We're going to share some tips to help you get it right. First, get off to a good start by taking some accurate measurements. The measurements you need are nothing short of a major construction project, especially if you have several beds in your home. Part of the problem is that there are so many different kinds of beds and mattresses and different sized sheets. We have antique beds, platform beds, beds with Hollywood frames in twin, full, queen, king, and cow king size. And add to that all the different mattress steps, anywhere from 7 to 22 inches. It could be one thick mattress, a thin box spring with a thick top mattress. The combinations are endless. Go to our websites for our handy and convenient bed measurement guide for exact dimensions and print one out for each bed. If you take all the measurements at once and take the guide with you when shopping, it will be easier and there will be fewer mistakes. The type of bed frame and headboard you have will dictate your bedding choices. What type of bed frame do you have? Notice whether or not your bed frame has bed posts, sideboards, and slats, or if it sits on a metal frame called a Hollywood bed frame, or is it on a platform? Next, choose a bed skirt or a cover for the box spring or bottom mattress. The bed skirt goes over the top of the box spring and hangs down to the floor or a few inches above the floor. It is a personal choice. You'll notice we're using an antique bed and ours is much shorter. The standard lengths are 14, 15, 18, and 21 inches, but you can have one custom sewn. In our case, we have a vintage bed, so we decided to leave it a little shorter because it looked best that way. So use your own good judgment. The purpose of the bed skirt is to conceal the box spring and the sideboards, as well as add another layer of dressing. Decide if you want a tailored look, a softer look, or a more modern look. If the bed has posts, sideboards, and slats, the corners of the bed skirt will need to be split to go over the corners. If you had wood sideboards that are not in good condition, the bed skirt will hide them, and that happens a lot. The other option is a fitted box spring cover. Often they come in matte lisse. We don't have one here today, but it looks pretty much like a fitted sheet cover, only it's made of much prettier fabric. And this fits right over the box spring and hides it. So if you have pretty wood slats, this works really well for a more tailored look. Now it's up to you to decide if you want a tailored look, a vintage look, or a more modern look. It's your choice. You'll need a fitted sheet for the top mattress. Choose a fitted sheet that fits tightly, otherwise it'll always sag. With so many different mattress depths, choose the size with the closest fit. The flat sheet is your top sheet. 
It is used to protect the duvet cover from getting dirty. Some people don't like to use a top sheet because it comes untucked and takes a little longer to make the bed. If you decide you don't want to have a top sheet, be sure to choose a duvet cover that is washable and doesn't need ironing. Put the flat sheet on face down, then when you flip the top of the sheet over the duvet, the good side or the right side shows. it up, inches down, that gives you enough to tuck in, so it won't come in tucked. Then you're going to fold your coverlet down. Give yourself about 20 inches there. Make a little pleat. That's how you get this nice full edge instead of a seam. And you just flip the sheet over a little bit. We left a good 20 inches here, so now we're ready to put the pillows on. We're going to use two euros and two standards. Notice the opening is on the bottom. We have this nice tall headboard and it's antique so the euros look really good. These are imported sheets and they have this wonderful little pocket so the pillow doesn't show, but always put the open end facing out. What's so nice about it, if you left the 20 inches, your pillows fit right in there. Sometimes you'll notice people don't leave that and it's on top and it hides the edge of the sheet. You want them to fit right in there. And then you're ready to add your decorative pillows. It's fun to kind of add a little splash of color, a little diversity, a couple of, couple of decorative pillows, sort of in the same range cut tone. Pull them over a little bit. It's a personal preference. You can have them sitting centered in each pillow, like this, or you can have them together, whatever you like. Okay, now let's say you want to put a coverlet at the foot of the bed. You want to fold it in half, right sides together. It's pretty simple. Just remember, right sides together. Then you're going to fold it in half again. That's how you make four equal sizes. Now this is a little tricky because you've got to pick this up and get it to the back. Then flip the whole thing over. And it's just like a hotel. So it's like a map or a fan. So when you're cold in the night, you just pull on this and bring it up. So another option, we'll add two more, just standard size. And we can lay these just flat down. Then flip these back over and lay them on top. Kind of gives it a very simple, easy look. And then we can just maybe add a little decorative roll of some sort on the front. So it gives you just another simple, easy combination.